the chimpanzee saw us through the window and smashed the glass. And we're like, oh my God, he's going King Kong. He's going to come in and he's going to attack us. I, we did a story about, a, um, about America's Most Dangerous Pets, which features Joe Exotic, mm. subsequently dubbed the Tiger King. Funnily enough, we made it in 2011. That's another story. He was fine with the way the program turned out, but there was another family that we featured who kept chimpanzees as pets. and One of their chimpanzees could swim. Anyway, without long story short, I became concerned that the chimpanzee was going to attack me. And if a chimpanzee attacks you, you're in trouble. <laughs> so much trouble. For the nose or the testicles, they've, they've, they've got, it's a bit like a kill move in Mortal Kombat. They will either rip off your face or rip off your, your, your private parts. And, um, Sorry, Lou, why do they go for the private parts? Why do they go for your testicles? Heat. I don't know. You know I, I, when I was saying that, I was like, did I just make this up? I think anything <laughs> that protrudes... Really? I think, I think oh, are you naked while being attacked by a chimpanzee? <laughs> Mate, they, 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 know, they, know that they know the good bits. They, they've also, got... also right, what I... I want to encourage listeners to Google that. Don't take my... Definitely the face and the nose. Also... And maybe like, it just stands to reason that if, they, if you're wearing a tight pair of Speedos, yeah. which I wasn't, yeah. but I could have been. Yeah. But the point of the story is, so they brought the chimpanzee out thinking, oh, he's going to swim and we're going to film the world's only... Swimming chimpanzee, right? And, 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 and then um, we got, he, the chimpanzee came over and we were hiding in the kitchen just to kind of acclimatize to the chimpanzee. And he, the chimpanzee saw us through the window and smashed the glass. And we're like, oh my God, he's going King Kong. He's going to come in and he's going to attack us. So we, um, at that point, we cut, we, we said like, oh, so sorry, we really need to go now. But the point is when we showed that in the program, they were very upset and they like, you had a chance to show the only chimpanzee that can swim in the world. What? I just don't think that's did, true. Did, 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 was your, was your instinct, was your instinct you to, to hold your nose and testicles when the glass <laughs> broke? Well, that's, this is the dilemma, isn't it? Because, or does that then direct their, their attention to, you know, like, you know what I mean? It's a bit like if you're covering a spot that could actually just bring more attention to the, the area of interest. We, we actually had a debate like, shall we run into the, the bathroom and lock it, like the whole crew, and then wait till the chimpanzee's back in the cage? I don't think the chimpanzee was actually going for us. I think it just saw us and then was trying to make a noise on the glass and thought it was perspex. Do you know what I anyway. find funny, Louis? It seems like you're just always concerned that you're about to be attacked. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever scenario you're in. Oh, God, am I about to be attacked here? It tends but to be, uh, those tend to be the moments you remember. We have one. In the in the in the law and in the law and order episode, I go into several uh, well, one prison and one jail, and it's a similar. The issue of being attacked also comes up there because you're thinking, well, do I represent a threat to this person? So it's a it's a part of the it's part of the your you know journalistic one of those things you have to think about.